So summer is in full swing and with a lot of kids out of school, we're looking for a way to teach our kids. We've got an online summer art camp that is happening in the month of July. So I've got a slew of people to tell us more about this. We've got teachers, we've got students, but first I wanna kick it off with Joan Green. She is the artist and owner of Green Art Lab, Green Arts Lab, I should say. So Joan, tell us more about this. Hi there, yeah, we're excited because we had so much fun last week in our first ever online summer camp. You know, with the pandemic and kids staying at home, we really wanted to get creative and kind of experiment with a new format. And so now we have this online half day summer camp and we brought teachers from all across San Diego, um, some of the best in their fields and we're offering really hands on learning for kids. So a lot of times we think of online um, education as very flat, but this was all about sensory experiences. Kids were holding worms and sprouting seeds and um, using their imagination and it was just great and um, it just brought a lot of joy to families and to the teachers too. Um, some parents were saying that they wish that school was like this all the time and that they, you know, the kids couldn't wait to log in in the morning. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to show you what we did and we're going to do four more weeks in July. Um, this is for ages five to nine and, um, yeah, we're really excited about this. And you've got something you want to show too, right? That you did? Yeah. Yeah, one of our collaborations that we did with uh, gardening and theater and art was um, a shadow box theater and um, puppet show. So kids got to write their own plays and uh, they got to make some shadow puppets. So you can just use things from around the house. Um, Green Art Labs is all about reusing materials. So if you've got like a box around, um, just like a cereal box, you can cut that um, into a shadow puppet. So I've got one here and all you do is just kind of trace out your design. So I have I have one here. You can do any shape and it can become any character that you want. I kind of like this idea of a dolphin that flies. So that's my character. And then um, you just tape it onto a paintbrush and then you've got a shadow puppet. And Courtney's going to share more about how you can have that come alive in the theater. See, I love this so much because as a parent, you're focusing on so much that you might, I mean, it's like such a simple idea, but you wouldn't necessarily think to do it. That's why we need these online courses. I'm going to head on over to Courtney on that note. Courtney, yay. Hi. Okay. So what do you got to show us there? So just to kind of piggyback what Joan said, once, um, you know, we do recycled stuff as well at Theater Art School of San Diego. And so when our kids built their shadow stages, we used another box <laughs> and just eight and a half by 11 paper and just whatever they had around the house, they created their shadow stage and all they needed was a light and then it ends up being like this and then you can put your shadow puppet in your oh get out stage, which is very fun and this is a great way to introduce kids to theater especially kids that might be a little unsure about acting and if that's they're not sure if that's something they want to do they get to do art they get to cr improv they get to create a play and they get to act. And we had fun um, with Pedro working on like voices for our characters and creating music, you know, for our characters. So we had a great time and we're looking forward to four more weeks of this. I love that. See, boxes are for everyone. Bo you know, cats are amused by boxes. Children are amused by boxes. They come in handy. So from Courtney, we're gonna head on over outside to Mindy. Mindy's gonna tell us about some gardening activities as, she as soon as she unmutes herself there. I know she's in the garden. It's very important to be teaching the kids gardening skills and outdoor skills. There we go. Hi, Mindy. So I'm out here in my garden, and um, a lot of the students already were interested in gardening and active in gardening, but we use this book as our frame for the week, and often there's stories that go along. It's called Tasty Baby Belly Buttons, and it's got two plants that are referred to in the story. One is a melon that the character comes out of, so we got the imagination going, connecting to the theater and the art that they're making. And then also, the, in the in the story, the character makes millet dumplings, so each student got millet to take home um, and sprout and then at the end of the week we did make our own dumplings that were actually quite popular not just with the students but with their families the siblings oh, yeah. were sure. downing them it was pretty awesome to see um, in addition to that we were looking at the melon and thinking about seeds and how they grow and I think probably always in all the classes I teach, I teach in the public school gardening education, um, Worm Wednesday was by far probably one of the more popular days. And you can see I, br I brought out my worms. Each kid worked to make a, a worm 
happen in their house so they could work on composting. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, so there's awesome. earthworms in there and they got to hold the earthworms, look at the worm anatomy, think about composting and what is decomposition and just really interact with that. We had different songs and dances that we did to kind of re-emphasize re these ideas that we were doing in our class. You guys are the pros. You know how to hook those kids in and, and teach them in an entertaining way. And speaking of the kids, so you guys did a week of this camp. There's four more weeks in July. We've got Pedro and his mom, Selena, over there. So we're going to talk with you guys. You can unmute yourself. I want to know, Pedro, how was the online camp? I mean, it's weird doing it online, but was it fun? Yeah, it was really fun. It was a really fun experience learning um, the, when we did Garden League, it was the first time that I personally, me, made a germinator. Like, oh. I germinated plants. Um, and, uh... Pedro, yeah. how, how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. So you germinated plants, and I think you also did, um, as the teachers were saying, the shadow box theater and the shadow puppets, right? Can you show us? Sure. It'll cover my face. Look at that. It's a little hard. Oh, there you go. We're like extreme close up. That's really cool. Now I have two questions. One for mom. Oh, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. Pedro, do you think that, I mean, was it fun for you to do stuff online? Yeah. Yeah? You think like, did the hours fly by? Yeah. I would prefer to do it in the studio, but it was it was a really fun experience. Hey boy, we all have to adapt a little, right? But mom, I have to ask, how was it for you? Did this really kind of take a load off and help, you know, teach Pedro a lot? Uh, it was very nice, you know, Pedro have attended other camps on uh, John's studios and we loved it, so we gave it a try. And I think uh, it was very well organized, like the transition from gardening to art to theater, um, how them, some materials got delivered to the front door. Everyone knew what was coming after. So we can prep the day prior. Uh, I'm working full time. So I overheard him having a lot of fun and being engaged in learning. We all learn a lot because I was overhearing what everyone was teaching and um, it was very engaging for, for all of us. So, uh, you know, I will come out of a work meeting and see full on art in display and um, with everything going on, it feels great to know that he's engaged and having fun. I love this so much. I want to, you know, give everyone a shout out for the website. You guys can unmute yourself. Joan, I want to um, end with you. You know, please give the website. How do parents sign up for these online courses? How does it work? Does it cost any money? Sure. Um, yeah, you can sign up at my website. It's um, greenartlabs.com. And um, we're starting the four more weeks. We'll start uh, July 6th through the 31st. And there are half-day camps you can choose from the morning session or an afternoon session, and it'll all be listed there on the website. Um, it's $200 for the half-day camp per week, and um, we're doing ages 5 to 9, but I think we're going to expand it to ages 9 to 13 also. So, um, yeah, there'll be a lot of choices on there. So, yeah, we'd love to have you. It was a really great experience for everyone. I mean, Pedro said it himself. If, if he's occupied in learning, then you know it's good. So greenartlabs.com. We also had, you know, Dig Down Deep Garden Education with Mindy. So dig down deep garden, uh, ed com, And of course, the Theater Art School of San Diego. So we've got their website, theaterartsd.org. So thank you to all the teachers. And thank you, Pedro, for making time this morning, getting up early.